Today is September 11, 11 years after. The Swiss did it, and I'll prove that to you. First watch my other vids, The Pharaoh Show, in which I explain how the Templars founded Switzerland in 1291, my videos about Octogon, the Swiss Nazi Templar secret organization, and how the Swiss Nazi Templars financed Hitler in 1923. September 11 is Enkutatash, a pharaonic sacrificial feast. And this is the country where they still celebrate uh, Enkutatash and was already mentioned by the pharaohs 5,000 years ago. And on September 11, 1343, the very last Templars got executed in the Blutgasse or Blood Alley in Vienna, Austria. Some 40 years after the famous Templars executions on Friday the 13th of October 1307 in France. So September 11 is a very important date for the Templars, a date which is connected with hatred and revenge. And exactly 700 years later in 1991, after the last crusade in 1291 when the crusades ended, the modern crusades against the Muslim world started again, as if they just picked it up again exactly 700 years later, from 1291 to 1991. And because the American Senate and the United Nations finally blocked a full-scale war, it needed a false flag operation. And the exact date of hatred and revenge of the Knights Templars or Nazi Templars on September the 11th. So here we can see the, sim the uh, symbol of the, uh, of the Templars on an American tank, an Abrams tank, on the, in, uh, during the Operation Desert Storm. There it is. This means the Templars control NATO and America. They did it. They did 9-11. And Switzerland, Octagon is their base. The Nazi Templars from Octagon, Switzerland, control the world. They want the oil and the opium. And due to the US military invasions into the Muslim world, consequence to 9-11, a financial and economical collapse took place in the Arab and Muslim world which dragged the world into a big financial crisis with the banks of which only the Swiss Nazi Templar banks could make enormous profits and destabilized the entire world financially and otherwise. And yes, it was the Templars in 1291 after having founded Switzerland founded the Swiss banks with the famous Templars treasure and their notorious Nazi Templar organization, Octogon, is very capable of assassinations of all kinds, as Peter Odensov declared last year. And Octogon is the only one capable of extracting intel from the CIA, MI, etc. due to their infiltration everywhere and mining the World Trade Center and keep it airtight. Here is a, um, a Templar's bank, it says in German, you know, the Swiss, yeah, in German, uh, in Palestine during the Second World War, before the State of Israel. Look, here's the, uh, here's the flag, uh, which came from the Templars, actually, which I showed you. It is a very strange picture here. In is in well, which is Israel now. I don't suppose it still says this here. There it is. The Bank of the Templars, it says in German. You know. 
The Swiss and their Templars are best at keeping secrets. These people never talk. An octagon is an airtight organization. And they just smile to the world while repeating over and over again how clean and neutral they are. Or at the moment they repeat all the time that octagon is a sovereign state. Many people on YouTube say that the Jews and the Mossad did 9-11. But Jews can't keep any secrets. There's always a, Vanu a Mordechai Vanunu who snitches about Israel's nuclear program at Dimona. Awesome ex-Mossad guy who writes a book giving away Mossad's and Israel's secrets. Like Viktor Ostrovsky. The Jews talk too much for being a perfect spy. But oh boy can these Swiss, their Templars, their banks, their Nazis and their Octogon keep secrets. Oh boy can they keep secrets. Thousands of years. It's the black nobility, Per A, Pharaonic, Nazi Templars, Octagon that rules the world. They are pure pharaonic per a breed, as all the Templars are noble, noblemen. Their base is Octagon, Switzerland. They own the banks, lead the Freemasons, execute people all over the world and never ever talk or break the silence. Here you can see a Swiss cave uh, after World War II with all the Nazi looted goods. Um, gold and, and valuables and look here in Switzerland Octagon they control the foreigners and the immigrants through the Tsar organization meaning a king in Pharaonic as in a sarcophagus or see Tsar well watch the Pharaoh show this is pure Pharaonic So these are official SAR documents, you know, they're so proud of their total control. The Swiss Templars. Oh. And their system, you know, to uh, control the Swiss state, it's called ISIS. Uh, Staatsschutzinformationssystem. So that means the uh, protection of the state information system or well, ISIS that you know that's pharaonic uh, they use ISIS you know the whore of Babylon who gave him name to Switzerland see the Pharaoh show so this is part of the Swiss secret service ISIS oh nice eh? so this is part of the ISIS documents you can all find it in the internet really Total control. Is anyone any doubts? You know, the that octagon is pharaonic. Isis, the sisters of Isis, les sœurs d'Isis, schwester de Isis. Now this is Switzerland. This is octagon. Total control. Templars, pharaonic. The masters of the world. Here's where the pharaohs are. Tsar for total control for the foreigners and ISIS to protect the state. Well, what more do you want? Well, here she is again, ISIS. Uh, and she's not really crying. They did it. Octagon of Switzerland did 9-11. The pharaohs of Per A, the big royal house, rules the world. Their base is Octogon, Switzerland. Their political wing, the Freemasons. Their financial wing, the Swiss banks. And their military wing, the Nazi Templars of Switzerland, Octogon. And here you can see ISIS, who gave the name to Switzerland. <laughs> 